everybody, I'm John Amendola, President, CEO, and founder of Realtors Media. With me today is my good friend, Michael Spano. We're here in our studio. We're gonna shoot some video with Mike here today. Mike's gonna tell us about his story and his journey and where he come from on his real estate journey. I've known Mike for 12, 13 yeah. years. So the great story, when I launched my first business in Von Snap, Mike's dad, uh, Gino Spano, was my very first cold call. And Mike, how old are you now? Right now I'm 35. So, okay, yeah, so you were like just early 20s, finished yeah. school, and you were taking over the marketing because you were doing Waste One at the time. Yeah. Um, and your dad was awesome. I walked in and he was a hard ass, and uh, but he's like, you know what, we're gonna do some stuff, and he Never was committed. Never paid an ounce of marketing nah, before. Nah, yeah, he was good, he was good. And we did some stuff, and he paid me in some checks and some trees, and it worked <laughs> out really well. And here we are 13 years later, doing business together in the same building. Yeah. And so tell us why you're here. Tell them so time why you're flies. here. Um, we've known each other for a very long time. We've done a lot of business together. Yeah. Um, 15 years I've been self-employed with different businesses. So uh, John's been there. Uh, to market a lot of my products and also design now and he's yep. doing a lot new new stuff and we're doing video today which is awesome um we created your uh are brand which yep. is amazing um i'm not saying it's amazing because we did it i'm saying it's amazing because just i like the concept are is agents of real estate so the whole thing was we are we are we, we are, are we are we are real estate and that was uh, a couple years yeah. that was a couple years ago it's a couple years ago we still haven't fully launched the brand uh we're slowly building up to it uh, still trying to find a way to uh, put well, everything together. Well, it takes together. time to grow. They say it takes three to five years to get a business it off the ground. It takes time, yeah. Uh, I'm currently, uh, I'm a licensed realtor and I'm currently enrolled uh, to get my brokerage license. Oh, beautiful. So hopefully when that's More complete, value. Yeah, more value, better service, more knowledge and information that we can provide for clients. Excellent. Um, always trying to be better at every turn. You, you're like that as well. You got to pivot. Uh, now more than ever. Yeah, now um, more than ever, yeah. Yeah, convenience, value, ease. But I know you kind of have a lot of that same premise. We've talked about marketing for like the last decade. So where are you from, what you do, what you want to yeah, do? Yeah, so, you know, born and raised here in Vaughan. Uh, Italian, Canadian, first generation. Um, you know, I started my sales career a long, long time ago. Was uh, it at the Garden Center? No, it was actually earlier than that, actually. My dad, uh, he's a tough guy, uh, dared me to... We went to the local farm down the street and he dared me to go around selling eggs. Ah. Uh, the double double dozen squares. So I went home and borrowed that red rocket cart from yeah, my neighbor yeah, and yeah. went door to door and I sold uh, I sold eggs. I love it. And uh, I was charging about 15 bucks a square. That's awesome. Didn't that's know they were two bucks at the yeah, store, yeah, you know? A, and, that's a good price for eggs. You know, some people would shut the door on my face, but by the time I got all the way around, someone would, they, they would buy them all. That's awesome. But yeah, no, I worked with my parents, my mom, my dad, uh, dad mostly. Well, you uh, built the, um, when I first met you, um, you were really in there trying to help your parents take the kind of family business, the garden center to the next level, but you started the Waste One business. Yes, yeah, so I had- I remember your ads in Snap. Right, I was, I was just uh, what, 18, 19 years old and I had left uh, UPS. I was working supervisor for UPS at a very young age. Uh, I left there, my dad asked me to come, you know, help out, yeah, work with yeah. him, do something really cool and Free work together. Labor. Well, I thought I was going to get paid, yeah. but you know, lo and behold. Yeah. Um, so, you know, my dad was buying a new truck for, for services, for aggregate services. And I go, hey, dad, you know, can you buy this truck? You know, and I can maybe start another business. It's multi-purpose. Multi-purpose. We're not delivering gravel one day, we'll drop bins off. Exactly. So I started a little disposal service company and, you know, over five, six years, I grew it to about 50, 60 containers with two trucks, two yeah, full-time yeah. employees. And, uh, you know, I made a pivot um, around four or five years ago to get into real estate, something I had a passion for within the family. We buy a lot of real estate. And, yeah, awesome. You know, I got into it with one vision of it, one understanding of it, but once you get into it and start selling real estate, it's a totally different Everything environment. Everything changes. It's totally different. Uh, but I, I really like it. I like uh, what we do. Uh, I like our goals with, with agents of real estate and, and the brand and, you know, what to expect. Um, you know, I believe real estate today should be held at a higher standard. You know, higher standard of, of service, of reliability, uh, higher standard of study and practice in real estate uh, and consumer. You got to stay fresh. Like if I'm if I'm interviewing, so I, I'm a big believer that 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 a, a sales professional um, is required, especially in major, large transactions, especially life changing transactions. Um, I believe they're worth every penny, but I also believe inconvenience, value, and ease, and the ultimate customer experience. That's the premise of what my businesses are all built off. So I tell these agents, I'm saying, you don't want to make it about price, 
make it about value. Make it so that it's the price be becomes irrelevant. And and what what like you know what are you good at? So so you're you're a lifelong resident in Vaughan. You're a, you're an entrepreneur. You're a business owner. You're 35. You appeal to. Um, a guy like me, let's just say. Right. Um, you know, if I'm looking for a real estate agent, you know, versus um, if you were, you know, selling new homes to millennials. Right, right. Well, it's right. not just about price and value. It's about the intangibles as well. It's about that reliability, that trust. Um, one of the big things in real estate is accountability. Uh, yeah. That's a big factor that, that you know, we'd like to shape and, and change and, and hold more accountable. Sure, to yeah. The, the agents within our business. Um, you know, it's a big transaction. It's one of the biggest you're ever going to make. And well, probably the biggest for for the majority, more than the majority of yeah, people. Of but course. you're right. Unfortunately, there are, you know, um, historically things have happened in the yeah, industry that's left some, you know, um, sour grapes for certain people. I believe there's room to grow. Agreed. I believe there's room for a little bit of change. Um, and hopefully I can take it in the direction that I just mentioned. You know, Fantastic. In a higher standard. I think you're on the right the right track. I think so too. Who, um, who is ARE today? And um, are you looking to expand? Are you looking to grow? Are you looking to hire? Yeah, so Where are you uh, at? we're not looking to hire. We're, we're always growing. Um, I'm working with uh, one of my best friends that I've known since we were four years old. Oh, awesome. Uh, elementary school friend, and, and we grew up together. Sal. Sal. Sal Stalteri. Salvatore Stalteri. Sal's and, your uh, partner in Yeah, Andrea. we're a partner. We, we one of these just, days, we're going to get Sal on camera. Yeah, I know that's pushing it's it, pushing it, but we're going to get him on camera. We're going to get him one day. Um, and he'll be great once he gets and, in here. And the fact that half of Woodbridge knows who Sal is yeah, is going to be good for business, of course. Right? And we're, but, we're two opposites of yeah, the coin, yeah. opposite sides of the coin. Yeah, so, agreed. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. So uh, him and I started it. We founded ARE and uh, we've been, you know, chipping away at, at A, growing our own business and, and, and building clients and, you know, going through real estate as through the five years that I've been in it and also growing a business at the same time. So without taking too much focus away from serving clients, you know, agents of real estate is a slow process to to come out and launch. We're working with marketers like yourself. Yeah. Uh, you know, we work with business coaches, with sales coaches. So you're really just still um, cementing the foundation of your business before you right. go into kind of growth mode. Correct. So you and Sal are, you know, okay. We're still I in guess. the study and practice Yeah, stage, which is know? great. You want to perfect it. So yeah. there's nothing better than proof of concept. And if you believe that the industry needs change and monumental change and you can bring that, then yeah, you need to take the time to do it properly because it will... It, it does. But, you know, it if does. you... ARE is fully operational. You want to buy a house. You want to sell a house. You want to lease. You want to rent. You want a commercial. And that's the other thing. If I'm not mistaken, you guys specialize the full gambit new homes it's it's pre-construction pre uh whether it's uh low rise or high rise uh, yeah. a lot of relationships with some some good marketing companies who sell who, who participate with the real estate uh with the developers uh sales teams who participate with the developers as well as uh, the developing developers themselves we have some great relationships with them uh which uh you know brings well, you guys are a big uh, Green Park, who's probably yeah. I think, the second largest builder in the country. You guys are close you with know, them. One, and... one of the most important things when it when we talk about relationships with builders is not so much allocation and getting product to sell. It's mostly keeping the clients safe. Yeah, it's having that relationship to to you know, like in a COVID period, um, go back and, and offer some support. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah you yeah. know, you were just talking about how when you were at hard times, the bank would help you out. Well, now a lot of people are in hard times and, yeah. and you know, everybody's pitching into everybody help needs it, to It's help actually out. really cool what we see out there. Yeah. So the banks are helping yeah, out. Yeah, you, you see the best for and the, most the worst part, out of people, you know, there's, unfortunately. There's but, yeah, the best and the worst. A lot of the best right now, which is great. I, I, I like to see the positive. In, awesome. In, you know, I stay away from the negative, so. Good. Um, so you guys are ready to make money, you're ready to help people make money, and you're ready to get people into yep. their dream homes. Exactly. Awesome. Exactly. Well, listen, this was fun. Thanks so much for asking me to, to yeah, no, help you with this. Yeah, no, thanks for coming out. Really thanks for hiring it. us to do this and having me feature You're in that. You're paying me, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm paying you. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> the guy behind the camera is paying us both. But no, seriously, thanks so much. I know we've been talking about this for a long time. I, I think you're um, going to try to produce videos on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to try to keep going with this to uh, to educate our clients more and you know, offer some added value out there, some free content for them to take away. Education and value is you the know, best thing. You know, real estate's been kind of secretive, so we're gonna, you know, kind of open it up and just let it out, let it out of the box and, and reveal it all. Again, thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Appreciate it, John.